Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. Can I just rant for like 30 seconds? This is the fourth time I'm filming this video. I'm still trying to figure out this setup situation. You guys can see I'm still working with lenses, with lighting, with backgrounds. Bear with me, but I am like, I'm just on the verge of just giving up on this video because of how many times I've had to film it. Ran over. On today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 must have items. Now these are not recommendations for you guys to try out. These are things that I absolutely love for my skin type, my makeup preferences, and just what I need in order to be satisfied with doing my makeup. So if you're interested in what those 10 products are, I hope you decide to stay tuned. We're going to get straight into it. Item number one is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. This is by far my favorite mascara that I've ever found. I do use the waterproof and the regular formula. I love how black and rich the pigment is. I love the gradual amount of volume that it offers the lashes. The waterproof version really keeps the lashes at attention and staying that way all day. And just the consistency. I feel like it dries up a bit more quicker than some other mascaras do and I prefer that. I feel like it coats it a little bit better at least to my liking. And with two solid layers I'm good to go and I've never been disappointed. I find myself even now trying the essence mascara going back to the benefit i still love my l'oreal voluminous carbon black number two are the lashes that i have on my eyes today i've talked about it a million times on this channel this is the ardell 113s and i want to specifically mention that you should get the wispies if you're interested in trying them out the double ups are horrible in my opinion and i would not recommend them even to my worst enemy i feel like this is a graduation a step up in the demi wispies which is what i originally started off with it's a very close comparison between the two the only difference i find is the length there's still the flare at the end it's very pc and it's not as full as some other lashes are so it really is the big sister to the demi wispies every time i wear these i get compliments i love that it's that happy medium between a natural lash and a full lash those are my preferred options and most especially the band these are the ones i'm wearing right now and they feel like nothing i feel like i just have mascara on so i can still have the va va voom of lashes without feeling like i actually have them on number three comes as no surprise this is the abh brow wiz and i use the shade medium brown it is by far my favorite color it is my favorite formulation it's waxy and dry at the same time which is perfect for my oily and and sweaty skin. This is the product that keeps my brows in place the entirety of the day and because I don't use pomade or the feather brows on the regular because they take longer this is just a very simple beautiful natural application that I can use every single day without having to think of the time that I have to do it. It's so quick to do. It matches my brow color perfectly and then on top of that which is number four the ABH clear brow gel. Applying that on my brows Letting it set, it gives off the most natural looking but stay in place brow set that I've tried. And I have tried a couple different ways to set my brows. It's just so easy. The only downside to this product is that it absolutely stinks. But I can afford to forego the smell because it does so well on my brows. This is what I use on the regular. The feather brows and the pomade are really just for camera purposes. So in my everyday life, the ABH Brow Wiz Pencil and the Clear Brow Gels are my go-to's. If I see them on sale on websites, I always pick them up. I think I have like three backups ready to go, which seems excessive, but the reality is I run through brow pencils the quickest out of anything in my collection, so having them always in stock is a must for me. So we've got quite a few ready to go. Number five, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I know I tried many concealers. You're seeing me use the e.l.f. one a lot, the Makeup Revolution. That's what I have in stock right now. And two of them are just about done. I know, I can't believe it. I actually finished concealers. But still, nothing touches the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I use the shade Ginger. It's the one that matches my skin tone the closest. The formulation, the texture of it, how smooth it is. It's a thin, creamy, but also 
also very well pigmented concealer so it doesn't feel heavy on the eyes but gives you really good coverage and your girl needs it because you know these these things are getting dark I i've seen some things in life okay and my fine lines my wrinkles down there it doesn't accentuate that at all your girl's old guys but we don't want to try and announce it to the world so that concealer does a great job at just really smoothing it out obviously you're not going to get rid of lines with using concealer but there are ones that don't accentuate it and this is the case with the nars radiant creamy concealer it's a small tube for a lot of money and i hate that it is but i am willing to spend the money on it because i love it so much and i do have them ready to go in my closet number six on the list mac eyeshadows did you guys guess it i'm pretty sure some of you guys did i'm more of a blush kind of gal that's what i love to collect and so having a lot of eyeshadow palettes is not that exciting to me i have a pretty decent collection of pat mcgrath but i don't collect everything i only pick what i like and so for me if i had to just pick one type of eyeshadow for the rest of my life to keep in my possession it would just have to be my mac eyeshadows i know which shades i like i know which ones have great formulation i know which ones to avoid because of my experience using so many of them and i'm the kind of person that i know what i want i don't want someone else to curate a palette for me if i can do it for myself i've always been this way i love buying singles so mac eyeshadows that would be my go-to moving along what was next <laughs> oh white hair brushes this is specific to eyes when it comes to face i'm down with using anything i'll use a natural brush a synthetic brush black brown white dual fiber brushes i'm down for anything but when it comes to eye brushes think think back to all of my tutorials if you've seen them have you ever seen me do my eyeshadow without using a white brush the answer is no because it is impossible for me to do it i need a white hair brush there's something about the way that it blends and the way that it feels when i'm using it it just it feels right you know there certainly are brushes that are better than others the morphe ones are very different to my mac different to my hakuhoto i naturally want to use them over all the other ones with the exception of the 224 and a couple other dark hair brushes I'm pretty good with just living with white hair brushes. I know they stain like crazy, but I'm willing to just oversee that in order to just have that quality of brush in my hands. I just need it. Without it, I feel like I'm gonna have the worst eye look. Next up, we have Max Cork, and I feel like this can definitely change to just being a mid-tone neutral brown. That is my favorite favorite lip liner shade to use with my complexion. I recently got the NYX Nude Truffle Lip Liner and I've been loving that as well. So I'm not closed off to the idea of trying to get something cheaper. If you have recommendations like ones from ColourPop, let me know. I don't want to pay, I think, the $19 that Cork is, but I just go back to it because I love the shade of it. Mid-tone neutral brown. That's what I'm looking for. I think you'll be able to tell from the camera that my lips, the outer portions of it are dark. So when I try to blanket it out with one lip color, it looks very off. So in order to bring back that natural look of my lips, I do have to darken it up a bit on the edges and I feel like Cork does that for me every single time. Any lip product that I have, I can use Cork and I know that I'm gonna make it work. Next up, we have NYX's Matte Liquid Eyeliner. This is the only eyeliner besides the pencils that I have, but it's the only one that I use for that sharp and crisp edges. With the pencils, I tend to use a brush and sharpen it that way, but for that edgy, dark, pulled out cat eye, I need to use a matte liquid liner and I'm very specific with it. So let's just go over it a little bit here. I need ones that come in a well that you're able to separate the brush from and I get to control the amount of product that gets on my brush. I feel like with pens, I'm not able to gauge that because I don't have control of the actual product, which is why I prefer just being able to control it myself. But furthermore, I need, I need it to be matte guys. 
the glossy semi glossy finishes do not work for my crinkly wrinkly and very textured and bumpy kind of eyelids the glossier the more accentuated those lines look and I'm not about that I want my eyeliner to look flat and I don't want it to accentuate nothing that I got going on in my eyes so the more matte it is the better it looks and I remember when NYC used to make it that's the one I used to use and then they closed they shut down I don't know where they went and I I remember freaking out I was texting my best friend and I said I really need this liner and I don't have any more I think she had gone to Target and she was texting me and she said I don't see NYC but NYX has a matte liquid liner do you want to do I want to pick it up for you? And I said yes, and I was I was still devastated. So when I got it, I was like, thank you, Jesus. I don't know if NYX got the rights to the NYC one because they're very similar, but NYX, please hear me. I'm reaching out to you. I beg you not to get rid of this because if you do, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have no clue. I can't be devastated twice. And last on the list, we have the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is my favorite pressed powder of all time. I have tried a few other matte pressed powders. Uh, one off the top of my head is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. That is a very popular powder and I do not understand why I do not like this powder at all. Rimmel's the one that I've been using for years. You've seen me hit pan on a number of them on this channel. And just to prove my point, this is my current one. You see that pan? I go hard with these powders. I have a couple backups in my closet. But while we're at it, do you guys know why it's hard to find Rimmel in the States? I have to get mine off of ASOS because it's harder to find even in drugstores. I remember picking it up at Walmart at one point, but they had like three powders in stock. But like I said, it is my go-to powder. If I'm going out and about my regular life, this is the powder that I'm going to use because I know it's going to stay in place, but I don't have to do the whole bake and set kind of thing. I usually leave my loose powder the Patrick Star and MAC powder that I have in my collection. I save that for more events, so wedding or events that I want to get a little bit more glammed up for. And then I have my MAC MSF for much more lighter days, but when we're talking like in general, I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte because I know it's going to keep my oils at bay and it's going to help combat the sweatiness that I got going on. It is so hot here. It's always hot here. Even when it rains, it's hot here. So I need to make sure that my makeup isn't going anywhere and I know that I can always rely on the Rimmel Stay Matte in order to do so. And that's it guys. Those are my top 10 products, my must have, my holy grails. Those are the ones that I need in my life. Everything can go, but not really go just stay but those 10 I would save first and then some other stuff I would love if you would leave me your top 10 products down below I would love to read them and possibly start a conversation maybe some recommendations we can share with each other I know that I don't respond to comments as quickly but I do read them when they come in so yeah please leave me your top 10 products down below if you guys like this makeup look, be sure to check me out on Instagram. There I post a photo of all my makeup looks along with all the products in the caption. Till the next video, I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye guys!